Mary Margaret Campbell. I'm the executive director of George West Story Fest. This is our 23rd Story Fest this year, and it's been it's been a success. It's been not the beautiful day we had hoped for, but it's a comfortable day. We have a lot of people out here. They're having a good time. Lots of smiles. Lots of laughter. Lots of good times. Lots of good stories. Our slogan is "Good times, great stories," and we're doing it again this year. There is nobody who knows more about the fine and manly art of bronc busting for entertainment purposes than I do. <laughs> You've seen them at the big shows from Cheyenne to San Antonio, sitting straight and spurring bulls or broncs atop the leather throne. Jim Shoulders, Casey Tibbs, and Larry Mahan ran the race. Now a youngster named Ty Murray sets the rough stock rider's pace. They wear them shiny rainbow shirts and leggings bright and bold and fringe and stars and dollar signs and silver, green and gold and they rock in perfect rhythm scratch and hear the thunderation. But I'd like to offer my opinion as a declaration. Boring. I wish I'd stay. Well, Story Fest, I believe, is going real well this year. We have um, a little bit of cloud cover, so it makes the temperature comfortable. We have lots of people milling around. Um, we've had great storytellers. Now, those of us who lived in Texas very long know big black blue cloud means one thing blue northerners. And blue northerners blow through faster than green apples go through Harley Jr. So Harley knew he didn't have long to get towards the house, and so he gave his line a yank, and he just felt a tug out the other end of it. Looked out there across the water, and sure enough, there was old sloop fin, a flipping and a flopping in the air, not more than 20 feet above water, and that fish was on his way down. Well, old sloop fin hit the water all right, but it wasn't a splash, it was kind of a swamp. What had taken place was that blue norther blew through while that fish was in the air, froze that flew four inches tall.